Hi, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, episode 9. Okay, so what happened last time was we finally caught up to Dutch. Um, he, of course, gave us a long speech in typical Dutch fashion. And then he jumped off the cliff so we didn't have to kill him. Because honestly, I don't think that I could have. Well, I guess I would have had to if the game wanted me to. But, um, and so now we're back at the ranch. And the first thing Abigail did when she saw us was called us a hillbilly piece of shit. Which was a little shocking. <laughs> and um, so then now we're just kind of hanging around the ranch, just doing little chores and stuff. So I do know that I need to go back to Blackwater after the final quest because there's apparently a secret person like there or something like that. So I guess we'll see where the game takes us. Yep. John. Hello, John. All right. Okay. So... We got Uncle, Abigail, or Jack? Um, Abigail. Okay. Ooh. Hi, Jack. Oh, here we are. Ooh, some toast. What Stop you cooking? Eating. Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. <laughs> Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. Be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> That way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> oh, stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. Come on, burn your finger off. I was thinking the same thing. <sighs> scare the crows. Oh, scare the crows. I wonder what she said. All right, that's it. Oh, shit. Oh! Okay, that did it. This is what you guys get for upsetting my wife! How do I jump? How do I get in there? Hey! Hey, ass! Hey! Whoa! They're really eating the corn, guys! Uncle. Can you please? Why isn't it letting me do anything? Okay, that was embarrassing. Uncle, get out of here, please. You ain't gonna help, just leave. What kind of gun do I have? I guess that's fine. I don't know. They're not taking the hint. No, they're not. Do I need to go? Oh my god! <gasps> Whoa! They're eating the hell out of this stuff. I don't know what to do about them. Shoot. No, quit it! Oh my god, my wife's gonna kill me. They ate all of the corn. They ate all of the corn. <clears throat> wow. I don't know what to do. There's so many of them. No. What? Excuse me? Damn it. Ah! You took him out. Look at these stupid freaking crows. They're giving me a really hard time. Don't you even 
fucking thing going in there, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Shoot him, John! Thank you. Perfect. Look at this guy. Oh, he thinks he's fucking smooth. Oh, you asshole, he is smooth! <laughs> ah! This is annoying. I don't like this. You guys shoot every one of them? I don't know. Oh, look at this one. God dang it. This is stupid and I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing. Look at this guy, he's getting it. Just shoot him, John, please. What am I? I don't even know what I'm really so. God dang it. Fucking asshole. Damn. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this fucking corn. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just shoot him? And you couldn't get up on the building? Not that I know of. I don't really know. I keep trying to, but nothing's happening, you know? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, sorry, nope, I'm trying to do my throwing knives. Quick, can you guys just get out of there? I'm about to fail it again, it's so stupid. Thank God, Jesus Christ. Finally. Now about that stew. <laughs> they said about he that said stew. now about that stew. Okay, we got another Abigail, Uncle or Jack. Let's do another Abigail. See what she's up to. Honey! Look at Jack, Jack. fucking piece of shit. For the love of God. Wow. John. We got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie, something <gasps> or other. Aww. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. Ooh. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. Aww. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. <laughs> Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, about the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Beautiful and perfect. Well, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. So much for that stew. Yeah, right? You can pull him back at her. <laughs> Get in the wagon. With your sacks. John, wait! I 
I've changed my mind. I'm coming with you. <laughs> what are you waiting for? You better hurry. You oh. think it serves out good? I gotta hurry. I don't think I can let you get without me. Fair enough. I'm glad it's coming. You ought to ask. Ask? Sorry. I was late for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the board. Oh, while well, you were off reporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? Is Bonnie McFarlane? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes. Well, no, that kind of normal. Three eyes. Ain't no woman finding you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marshall. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. Oh, God. How did she save your life, anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on it now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fool. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. True. Where'd they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where'd they hold you again? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Oh, Very okay. fun. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It was the wait. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. You were only supposed to be gone for a couple of days. It took longer than I thought. The only thing Bill and Dutch was ever any good at was not getting caught. I started thinking you'd gone back to them. That life's over. I hope you're right. Get those horses moving. Bill, Javier, Dutch, they're all dead. You don't get more over than that. I was trying to drive slow so I could hear them talk. We did a good job. You came. Thank you. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland. I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, <laughs> among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Oh, boy. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. <laughs> well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? You're gonna start yammering about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. <laughs> I never felt so outnumbered. <laughs> Bye! That was quick. Can't be hanging around my girlfriend for too long. That's true. Not with your wife around. Oh. Oh no. 
Look at her. Ma'am. Ooh what, la la. What was that? <gasps> OMG. Dang. Poor Bonnie. I know. She needs a man. She does. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal. Like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife. If I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blood better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. <laughs> you clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. OMG, I can't believe she was Just kicking her. Dirt. They got there. That'll be up someday. Soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. We will be. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. Never you think those ever. government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The life is time for good? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. True. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing Ooh, I could get out. Miss my turn. Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. What are you going this way for? Sorry, I'm You ain't perfect, John. And I sure ain't. But you're better than they are. Than they were. Maybe we can't change. But we gotta try. For Jack's sake. <laughs> it's getting bad. We have to start again a hundred times. It's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry. Upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be alright. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe. Normal, even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him. But how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were his family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with a gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Lion here, or was it the dog? I thought it was a dog. Oh, okay. We did good today, John. Crazy butt. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. He's like, I'm about to go back and see Bonnie McFarland. <laughs> she always needs something done, so it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, now let's go see Jack. Can I get off of this? Oh my god, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I'm glad that no Abigail fun. wasn't here to see that. Oh, fuck off, Jack. Can't even see your own son during certain hours. I know. Oh, okay. Jack must have a busy schedule. Okay, it is 6.35. Jack, you better be there, you shouldn't have a bitch. Your family member's not here right now. Come back later. Oh my goodness. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there the fucking piece of shit is. <laughs> You're so mean. Well, you know, Mom, he needs to learn that if he's going to tell me to be somewhere at a certain time, he should be there. Yes, that's true. Good. 
Good job. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. Hmm. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? He's like... No. Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Aww. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. He's like, ha, yeah, yeah. You know it. You know that. Let's go! Mount your horse. I have mounted the horse. Jack is taking his time. Yep. He's not excited to hunt any elk with his dad. No, he's not. You're so selfish, right. Jack. Now stay close to the dog, son. Oh. Follow the dog. I guess the dog knows where we're going. Mom, yes. I put the um, location on the GPS. You stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patient. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Oh. Let's go! You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee! <gasps> Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've Ooh. heard them all before. Dang. Look, he's picked up a scent. Come on. Why is it making me get back on my horse when he got his dog? You know, oh, one time him. I hunted a bear up in tall trees. you never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by a wolf. And she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying, Ooh. maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Whoa. Look, I see one. I don't. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Shut up, Rufus! Am I blind? Where is it? I don't see him. Oh, there he is! Oh, shit! Yep. Oh, piece of shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There you go. Nice. Come on! You didn't shoot through the butt like I thought you were gonna do. Come on! I'll show you how to uh, cut Uh, sir? Hey, come on! I thought I was gonna get away! That was great, huh? Oh! Wait for the right shot, not rush Woo. it. That's a big one! This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Oh, I'm, I'm glad Hope he's excited. You watching. It'll be your turn next. Oh, crap. No, 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 no! Give me my horse right. back. Let's see if we can find some more. Get off my... Don't get on my horse. Shouldn't we be going? Okay. I guess I lost my horse. Come on, Rufus! Come did on, you, did Rufus! Did uh, moose mate? Yeah, I did. It was elk, not moose. It was elk. Mom, she's always Silly me. Shot, Jack? Of course, Bob. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, I know. I oh. know how you did it. Okay. You so, all right. When he finds him, take the lead. 
That's it. Good boy. Where are they? Stay on them, boy. That's it. Whoa. Good boy. Good boy. Look, they're over there. Let's go. Jack is gonna do this on his own, it looks like. Yeah, he is. We Stay want him cool. to. Yeah, I know. Don't rush him. That's it, son. I see him. Let's go. Did you get him? You got him? Yes! Nice. I didn't see that. Are we supposed to get the rest of them? I don't know. What are we doing right now? He's all the way up there. So how I cut me, Jack. Now it's your turn. What the? Oh, I keep thinking it's a mountain lion. It's my dog. Poor baby. Give him a horse back, you ass. Oh, okay. All right, Jack. Here we go. Is he gonna be able to do it? Yes. Jack. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Yeah. Now, come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Oh, goodbye, Dom. What? What? God dang it, I want my horse. Come on. You're not gonna get those other two? I don't think it really matters to the quest. So you just killed two for no good reason. Well, because I think that's what the quest wanted me to do. I don't know. Don't be mad at me. I'm mad. Don't be mad. Hello, guys. <gasps> Jack! I'm telling Jed, Jack's a bad driver. He is! Hey, we were here in right. the game with are. Arthur. Remember that guy who he only... I don't remember what he would Jack, say, but... Wait here. He would only say like one word, but we bought some tools. I think this is it. Am I wrong? I don't know. Happy to see a customer. Hello. Howdy, friend. What do you have? Got some elk meat with your name on it. There. That's what I got. That was dramatic. That was. Join Jack. I will join Jack. Hi, join Jack. All done. Let's head home. Don't you fucking get on that white horse. Don't you fucking do it. Oh. He did. Oh, he's a real he piece of work. It's because I freaking got on his horse and now he won't stop getting on mine. Oh. How much did you make? Never you mind. Oh. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. Yeah. I did half the work. That ain't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. His jet got I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. Good, I, I hope, hope you so. are. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We oh. ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? You was know. great, Paul. Aw, good. Hunting elk. You're growing up. Proud of you. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. Aww. And thank you for looking after your mother. You said you were very brave. Let's go. There's no time for rest. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, uh, she could look after herself. Oh, Pa, that was so much fun. That's so sweet. Yeah, me. it is. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Oh, the hunting wasn't enough? <laughs> I guess not. Okay. Oh, another mission with Jack. What happened to the one, one, one with Uncle? Oh! Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? You're 
tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. Oh. I guess not. Well, show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. Oh! I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Aww. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. You getting your horse this time? Oh yeah! Come on. The dog will soon sniff them out. Uh, this dog. Easy. Come on. Oh, you're ready. You gotta get him first, too. He's working hard. He is! I can look out! It's what fathers do! I'm just trying to look out for you! You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. Oh. Not the rest of the time! Wow! That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Let's go. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, uh, if it was down to me, I'd never that would be gone hard. anywhere. They can't make yeah. it, can they? It's complicated, but seems they can't. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? Why do you want to know? Well, it uh, just sounds like a good story, that's all. Good job! Jack, that's crazy. Found a scent. What? What a weird response. Why do Jack. you want to know? Yeah. Go! Paul, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope He's not. Your mother is probably pimp. lots of people's father, though. Well, why do you call him Uncle then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God That's must have had some purpose yes. to keep him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, but you're mine. That's his signal. Come on. Shoot the wolves. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. How about them apples? How about them? How do we like them? We like them just fine. Good work, son. Good Go work, on now, son. Rufus. Find the rest of them. There they are. Come on, son. All right, now you do it. You do it. Come on, Jack. Let's shoot going the wolves. Yeah. I don't know. Just tell me to do it. Come on. Go get them, son. They're attacking. Got them down. Wh who are they attacking? Where are you guys seeing these wolves? I don't see them yet. The dog's not helping. No, I see them on the map all the way over here. Whoa. Oh. Don't let him get too close. Excuse me. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Easy. Don't let him get away. Crap. John, you're stressing me out. There. That's it, Jack. What is Jack? I don't even know what's going on. Oh God. There you go. Sorry. Don't. What are you doing? Where are you going? 
Don't you try to go attack me, dog. Hey, hey! Whoa! How did this- He pulled me off my horse! He's good. That's a crazy wolf! Get back here, honey. Okay. Stay alert now. Apparently, there's some up here. Allegedly. Remember what I told you. Hey, you just took that to the face. Okay, where's this? Keep one? your head straight, sir. Okay. We did it! Yeah, we right. did. We should head back now. We got out further than I thought. You're not gonna skin him? No, I guess not. How many did we kill? Like. No. That was some good shooting, son. So can I go out and hunt by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. <laughs> you ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Ah, uh, please, Bob. We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your mother to cook. I reckon I can kill a bear, no problem. Oh. I gotta tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Uh, yes, sir, I hear you. Kill a bear? He that's like a fucking death wish. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Of course. Let me slow down. You a what? That place where they held us. Boss shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Baby, but I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No, and I guess I've been both. But that's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. And sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle. Exactly. Look. When I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. Come on, get a little, come a little faster. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. What arm, Willie? That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just a though. John and Jack Foster. With one in the wet. Okay. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, jeez. I was only joking around. Where the heck is he? Who? I don't know. He's like all the, he's like not that far back, but it sounds like he's really far yeah, away. Yeah, it does. Turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Shut up, Dad. I'm getting my nerves again. Gosh, the freaking loser. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, now we got Uncle or Jack? Oh, let's do Uncle for a change. Yes. He's been waiting. Okay, family member's not here. Shag bag later. Well, where are the Frick is he? Okay, guess Jack is what we're doing if, yep. if it lets us. Uncle. Oh, there he is! He's being weird. Get up, old man! I, I am up. Oh, I hate Get his up. disgusting beard. Oh. Man. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. Damn! And where's them cattle? You take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Oh, 
Oh my god, hurting. Oh, I hate hurting. You're so good at it. Thank you. That's why they want me to do it. That's right. Hello, ladies. You're like, can you make up your mind where you want us? No. Excuse me. All right, you stay front. Okay. Let's keep it moving now. Come. They get off. They're doing some work. Not author. Sorry, uncle. Don't Poor mention author. his name around here. R.I.P. R.I.P. Mother doesn't have freaking faith in your herding ability. Yeah. Yes. Go. It's true. Hey, hey, hey! You better get back over there. <laughs> oh! MG, where the hell are you going? God. Get over there. Jerk. Yeah. Yeah. Poor sweet cow. You call them jerks. Um, they're trying to escape, so that's what I would call a jerk. Who could blame them? Well, come on. I think we treat our cows pretty well. Yeah. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on. Where are you guys going, guys? Hey, everyone. Where are we going? Oh my God. Get up. Uncle just off. got. There's a cat back there. Dang it. No! Oh my god! 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 Damn it! Shoot! So one message got killed. Says decide to stay with the herd or stop the outlaws. Por que no los dos? I guess we should have switched to stop the outlaws. Engineer. Oh my god, my cows are despawning. No! Let's go. Thank God, you are right. Oh Lord. You folks okay? I think we're safe. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought we were done for. Just helping out. Now you take care. You're not gonna give me any money? Okay, Uncle, did you stay with the cows? The thing. I'm betting he didn't. I bet not. Oh yeah, a lot of them are still here. That's great. Uncle, what are you fucking doing back here? A hero return. They don't know how lucky they are. Shut it, old man. Come on. Oh, okay, Let's we're fine. We got the herd stuff. Yeah. Whoa there. Great. Is that a horse over there? Yeah, yes. that's a horse. Round up stragglers. Oh, there's a cow all the way back here. Get over here. Come here. Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. Go. <gasps> we lost freaking four! Go, go, go. Damn it. Hey, guys. L Let's where the hell? Out. Come on, go that way. Go that way, cuties. Come on. There we go. There we go. Good little ladies. Wow. Michael's got wow. names. Come. 
Sorry, you guys had to see your brothers and sisters die. Or no, they're just your sisters. These are cows. Yes, they Look are. after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. <sighs> Come back after 5 p.m. today. Okay. So we will um, go see Uncle then. I was going to say, surely he's not the same way. Oh, look, he's not there. So I have to wait till my family member's here. Okay, hopefully. Oh, it still let me. Hey, that's great. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of the Oh, okay, Uncle. Take a hand. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Damn. Are you gonna man up, kid? What do you mean? You're not on your horse either, asshole. Don't you try to get on my horse. Alright, let's get after him. Okay, let us. Come on! Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on, I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Deal now. Gosh, so many of them. Yeah. Let's get that silver one. I see him. Come on. Come on. There you go. Use your knees, you woman. Easy. Excuse me? On, Shut the hell up. Okay. Yeah, really. There you go. It's all right. Almost got you. You got it now, Joe. Woo! There you go. You got it. Get back on your horse. Okay. Whoa, there. That's a pretty horse. Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, oh, he took it. Okay. Gosh, all the horses are all the way over here. Damn! They are far away over here. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, okay, there they are. Another? 
You got this. Thank you. Alright, get over here, shirt bitches. Oh, you son of a bitch! Get over here! Damn it, making me look bad. Hey, 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 hey! What about you? Come here! Oh. You'll never you shut up! On foot. Damn, you guys are really running. Can you come back, please? I beg of you. You are an asshole. Let's go. There you go. Pulling his hair, expecting him to settle down. Yeah, really? Wow. You woman? I know. <laughs> Ma'am. There you go. No negativity, okay? No negativity. You got this. How about that? Thank you. This is a feisty one. Yeah, it is. Yes! Nice. There you go. Hey. Woo! I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ramp. Join Uncle at Bleacher's Hope. See you later, Uncle, you asshole. Easy. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Oh god, we're gonna be hunting a bear. Probably. John, John. What, what? is it, old man? It's Jack. <gasps> oh, the fuck. Kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt. You got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen wow. up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. It's not his fault. He maybe could have gotten on his horse and went up there. But also, oh, at the I same time, tried to stop him. I was going to say, at the same time, like, what was he supposed to do? Especially when dealing with Moody Jack. Yes. I say you let him get eaten, you know? You gotta learn. Yep. Why is there a deer and some wolves on my branch? Go on. Find Jack, boy. Can you run faster, Rufus? This is an emergency. That's it. Good boy. I feel like he's taking his time. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even care if Jack gets eaten. Uh -uh. Jack's mean to him. God, I'm so happy that I didn't actually hit him. Come on, Rufus. Keep it scooching. What you got, boy? Can you smell something? 
Come on, Rufus. Find Jack. Come on. Yeah, literally. Hurry up! I know my favorite dog. Bad dog. Can I be that dog? Come on, boy. Where is he? Jack, you came all the way out here by yourself. Okay, dog. Jack, Thank you. Can you hear me, Jack? Can anybody hear me? Oh my god, is he gonna be dead? No. Oh, sorry, dog. Sorry, hurt my dog. Oh my god. Oh, help me! I'm hurt! Jack, stay down! Oh god, come on! Get your jack down. Bitch. What the hell were you thinking going off on your own? You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. God, he got fucked up. Now hold tight. Let's go. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What'd I tell you about going off by yourself? Well, I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. Well, I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. Ooh. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. So I ain't going anywhere. Now believe me, neither are you for a real long time. That was nice. Yeah, that was. Come on. Yeah. What's your Where's mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. Jesus. I'd do anything for you. You know that. Aww. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust oh me, my son. God. He's so I ain't no hero. He is. I'm just glad you're safe. Let's go! Come on! Coming through! Got an idiot son with me. <laughs> Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice! We already had I'm this conversation. I'm not a What were you doing at my age? Bad things. Things nobody should do. But your ma and me, we didn't have what you had. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. 
It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. Okay. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. I was in a gang, you're asshole. You're you not. Think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories. Whatever. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Kids. I know. What can He's you still do? back and forth. I know. Oh, great. Another Jack mission. Can't wait. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, listen to you. Oh, really? Oh, he wow. He just did that. How much time do we have to spend with him? <laughs> hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. You need a hand with that? Um, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. Aw. You'll make this land Paul. real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very oh. funny, Paul. I was about to say, he's about to piss Thank him off. Son. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is! Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. Oh, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. Oh, God. Uncle, don't so, come in uh, here. You ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here. John, come here, quick. Oh, God. Take a look at that. Jack. Go into the house, lock all the doors. Oh, shit. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. <gasps> me and Uncle take care of it. What? Now you go inside and you keep the doors <laughs> and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once What? And for all. Who is it? I know. It seems. Oh my good God! There's still time oh, for you to run, old man. I'll hold him here. This is good, friend. Come on now. Are these like American soldiers? What? I said old friend. Yeah, but it says shoot the soldiers. Hmm. Wonder Go why. Check What's on your family, boy. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. That was. Very quick. What, are they sending someone to have me kill? Inside. I'll keep watch out here. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Oh my god, Jack. I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, God. Embarrassing. Slightly. Oh my God! Did you just get shot? Somebody did. Where are they? Oh no! Damn it! I'm hit. Shit.
Steel shot. Oh, John, we're standing up, are we? That killed him. Oh my god, there's a- <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, the horse is getting shot. Sorry, honey. Oh, I feel terrible about that. Fuck off! Why would they kill us? This is crazy! After everything we did for the government. Who's this asshole that's over here? You're dead, bitch. Oh, I almost died. Bitch. Okay. Join Uncle. Oh. Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <laughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Let's get them out of here. Damn! No! Uncle, please! Oh. oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! That sucks. Yeah, that does. We're wow. leaving the barn. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! R.I.P. Yeah. We're gonna head for the barn! Come oh on. I don't even see them! Where are they? Oh, up there. Oh. I see him! Abigail talking shit. I'll I kill know. you myself. You tell him, Abigail. Oh, I gotta chill because I'm gonna die. This is freaking insane. Bitch. Okay, come on. Don't move until I got you covered. I'm going to the silo. Is that what they said? I wasn't paying attention. Cover your family on foot or from the silo. We'll do from the silo, I guess. Now you can climb it. You couldn't climb it earlier. I know. I guess that was a part of the quest for some reason. Yeah. You know? Oh, shit. Let me get up here, Bruce. You two watch each other's back. Oh, no. Me doing that, but I don't know what I'm doing to do it. Now. Yeah. All right, you're covered. Now go, go. Oh, someone's over here. No, hey, easy on my family. Now, quick, run for it. Oh my God. Who else? I don't know her. Oh. Okay, well that's good. Come on! Pick him off! Who else? Someone down here? Oh, yes. No, get back! No, John, get back! Oh, join. Okay, get down. Get down. We're going down, John. Slide. Woo! Having fun in a time like this. It's the little things in life, Mom, it isn't is. it? It is. Yes, it is. Oh, wrong side, okay. Can't get into your own barn. No, I cannot. Okay, come on, la. Come on now. Hey, come on. Now listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here, go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. 
And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. Oh, sweet. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get. I found him. She's being nice. Yeah, right. Quit kicking dirt around. You quit kicking dirt around. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Wow, look at that. Why? Why are they doing this to me? Wow. What? I don't even understand. Like, what sense did that make? I know. That was a lot of men. Yeah. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Aww. Yeah. Wow, what's next? Guess that's it. Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie where the coyotes wail and the wind blows free. And when I die, don't bury me. Neath the western sky on the lone prairie. Excuse me? Who the heck is this? Is this... Is this Jack? Oh! <gasps> oh! I wonder what she died of. So sad. Always rains when you don't want it to. What? Now we have to play as Jack. Other freaking gravestone is it freak don't say it's the dog. 
Don't say that right now. You'll piss me off. Oh, it's Uncle! Oh, yeah, we forgot oh, about yeah. Uncle. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Do I have anyone? Oh, jeez. Do I even have anyone on this farm with me? Good question. Am I just alone? Maybe he has a wife. Who the hell would marry Jack? True. Just kidding. His whiny butt. Maybe he's not like that anymore. You grew out of it, you think? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Honey? Hello? Can you put your gun away? I wonder if Bonnie heard. Oh, yeah. He still sleeps in his parents' bed. Same sheets and everything. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Well, wow. okay then. Let's go to Blackwater. Are we fast traveling? Oh, uh, yeah. Where the hell's a horse? Oh, there we are. Hello, horse. You got a different horse. Yeah. yeah. I guess he's growing up, it would be a different horse. Yeah, mom. Silly me. So silly. Oh, this one. No. Oh, I can't remember how to fast travel, so we're yeah. gonna walk. You make a fire. I know, but I don't know how to pull that menu up, is what oh. I'm saying. This? I just did that. This? Oh, there we go. Take a oh, he's it's him from the side. God, I can't believe he's all grown up. I know. This is crazy. I can't believe John and Abigail are dead. I know. Me neither. Look at him. He looks like his dad. He does. Especially the, the hair. hair. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Secret mission, huh? Totally. Oh! Remember my family. I have mm. a feeling it's gonna have to do with my family. I have a feeling too. I'm copying. Me. I'm yeah. copying. I don't care. Let's go! Let's go! You need help? Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. <sighs> Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. I like where Last this I is heard going. him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. He's like, should I have told him that? Yeah. He failed to stop the crime. I don't give a good god dang. Is this my horse? Your horse was unable to find you. Okay. Damn it, horse. Get your ass over here. Where the hell did you go? Oh, <gasps> it's my dad's horse. How nice. Hello, Dad's horse. Okay. Let's go see. Is this it? Oh, the wronged woman. Oh. Okay. Let's go see what that is. So we failed this quest? No, no, no. It was just a silly one. Um, uh, go. My, someone stole my horse. You don't actually have to okay. go home. Hello, wronged Oh, my horse just jumped over that with all those grates or whatever. But, what were you saying hello to? I don't know. There's a wrong woman I need to help. Can I jump over this? Oh, you're strong, Jack. Ma'am. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Excuse wrong. me, miss. Is something wrong? Does it look like something's wrong? Okay, bye. Well, you looked kind of upset about something. 
Perhaps you don't understand what it's like to be disgraced as a woman. To have people gossip about you. Put your clothes on. Turn from you in disgust. Say dress. Day. That's a dress? Uh, yes. People can be real unkind. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm Clara. I used to be a nanny for a family here in Blackwater. The father, he was always so charming. Uh-oh. My fool that I was fell Stop for Stop looking him. at her belly. Mrs. Thornton, his wife, kicked me out on the street as soon as I started showing. Mr. Thornton turned to drink. Not even a farewell. For a dollar. I have nothing. They will surely take my baby from me. Perhaps you could find the dissolute bastard. Get even a few dollars for me and my baby to find money. a home. Yeah, really. I'm so grateful, sir. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Harold and Blackwater. Let's just go back to Blackwater. Clara, that's a pretty name. It is. And my horse is gone again. Oh, there she is. Hi, honey. Can I get out of here, please? Oop. Come on, horse. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, what do you mean? I gotta freaking search this whole area for this man? That was insanity. That yeah, was. No! Everyone leave me alone! Well done. Why not join, poker face? Come on Excuse me. Do you know of a girl named Clara? Is she one of the waitresses around here? Uh, no. She was a servant at your house. Well, the only servant we had was that wee darky girl, Sarah. And she left to join our people up north. No. This girl raised your children. And you and her had an intimacy of sorts. Look okay, here, laddie. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of. I'm just here to enjoy the tables. No to hear expressions against my character. I understand if you want to keep this quiet. So just give me a few dollars so she can set up a modest household for her and the child. You out of your mind, laddie, or are you just a common criminal? A nerve, are you? You think you can blackmail me or insult me over this piffle? You, outside, no. No. I won't come outside, Jack's like, okay. Oh God, we're gonna duel. Okay. I'd love to, Harold. Absolutely. You're gonna die over this? This is so stupid. Yeah. Nice. Give me your money. What have you got now your family doesn't have a father, so nice job, asshole. Two hundred dollars. Damn, Clara, you'll be excited to see this. How much of you, th you think Jack will keep for himself? I don't think he'll keep any. I agree. Bastard! Bastard! John's kind I mean, not John, R.I.P. Um, what is this guy's name? Jack uh, is less annoying as an adult. Who yeah, he is. Thank goodness. Yeah. Excuse me? Okay. Sorry, horse, you're not invited. Nope, got some good news. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay. Laugh. 
energy will bring me to you. Everyone in Las Hermanas has been talking about you. I had to find you. Please, accept this humble collection from the sisters. It's not much, but we what? hope it give you sustenance. Thank you. Thanks very much. What did she give him? I don't know. Thank you, that was very nice. Ma'am. Howdy, miss. Hello, mister. I got you some money. Oh, you are very kind, very kind. And how's Harold? How's my Harold? <gasps> oh, it didn't go so well. well. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? <gasps> uh, unfortunately so. I must go to his grave. Well, well, he's in the middle of town. I'm afraid I don't know where that is. Oh, he'll be buried in the cemetery in the family plot. If I hurry, I can, I can make it to his funeral. Okay, I'm glad she didn't ask me for a ride. Yeah. No, I will not be visiting Harold's grave. Why do I, why do I care? Yeah. Okay, anyways. Now we can go see freaking whatever his name is. Agent whatever. Agent whatever. Oh yeah, he's done for. Okay, let's see. Oh, is it down here? Here we go. Fast bastard! And we're gonna fast travel. Oh, gotta go a little bit further before we can fast travel. Yeah, you did. And we're gonna fast travel. Nice. Make that fire. I will. Alright. Oh my god. Let's go see this fucking piece of shit. Um, your husband's about to be dead. That's how I do. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive oh. man. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Jack. Until I kill him. Yeah, literally. Come on now, young man. Oh, what? Why is there so many purple things? Oh, I never finished that one. And I'm not going to finish that one. And I'm not going to finish that one. What's the blue house for? Oh, there's a bunch of purple over here, there. too. Yeah. All these houses. Is that what I mean, all you yeah. own? Uh, I think I own, yes, I think I own the blue ones. I don't know. It's like Monopoly. It in, exactly. Good lord, it was hard to get up here. Oh, crap. Well, you just all about the fires today. I'm all about the fast travel. Yeah, you are. It's totally in nowadays. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Saw the rage. Totally. Totally. Oh, my goodness. Where's my horse? Good question. There he is. Oh, Brownie. Wow. All right, Brownie, play it cool. Play it cool. Okay, get out of my way. Brownie's like, I got some words for Mr. Ross. Yes, she does. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? 
I, I heard he was down in these parts from his wife. Well, I know him. He's my brother. He's gone down river. Duck hunt. God, this man. Must be a pretty no important doubt. letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off, then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Come on, let's go! I go now. Just down the road. I will not fast travel, don't worry. Dang. Yeah! I'm coming to find you! Piece of shit! Here we go! Okay, I wish those guys would eat him. Excuse me! You Edgar Ross? Oh. Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed it. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. Mm -hmm. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Another duel. Let's go. Oh, this one will be good. Did you? I got nervous. Well, you're dead. Are you gonna let me do it again? I'm sure they will. Can you imagine they don't? They're like, no, you're dead. Yeah, that was your chance and you blew it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, Brownie. What was that? Thank you. Damn it. I failed it. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Can I please talk to you? Can I talk to you, please? Okay. So it didn't fail. No, I'm gonna have to like reload. Okay, let's try this third time. Third time's charm, right? Yes, it is. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Okay. They cut to the chase. I did. I clicked. I skipped. Okay. It. Okay. No messing up this time. So embarrassing. <sighs> Please don't kill me. Darn it. He's good. I don't want to do this a fucking third time. Fourth time. You can handle it. Okay. Yeah. Last freaking time I'm doing this. So you say. Hey, asshole. Let's talk. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Alright. You got it. Headshot. Don't you even fucking think of it! How does he do it so fast? This is so annoying. How's he doing it so fast? I don't know. Asshole, quit killing me like you killed my father. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? I'm nervous! You got it. 
Okay. Come on, let me do it, let me do it, let me at him, let me at him. How is it possible? I really don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up, I don't know. Okay, no, so you're apparently <laughs> supposed to kill him. Yeah. Damn it! I don't know what I'm doing wrong! Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Please. Nope. I don't know what I did different. Really? No, but I did it. Yeah, you did. Mmm. You Why too, Mom. Been, um, that was Jack Edgar Ross. Oh. Mm. Oh! That was cool. That, that, was. that gave me chills. Did it? Yeah. Damn. Steve Martin. Oh End of an era. The Steve Martin. Who's Steve Martin? He's a um, star. He's a comedian. Oh. Alrighty. Okay, so what was your favorite part? I think when Edgar Ross died. Me too. I just, I really wasn't expecting John to die. Like, I, I don't know, maybe I was being foolishly optimistic, but I really yeah. thought he'd be done. He could live out his family. It really broke yeah. my heart that he did all of that. Yes. Like, he did all that, even in the last game, yeah. just for him to get killed. Yeah. And then Abigail died a few years later. And Jack, I'm glad that... Well, actually, I'm not. It kind of looks like he's living the same life his dad it did. It does. So it's like, yes. what was it all for, you know? Like, right. even Arthur sacrificing himself just because, like, they're following in the same footsteps. Yes. But I can't believe it. I'm so sad. I know. I can't believe we finished both games. Well, of course, now if there's a Red Dead Redemption 3, we'll definitely play it. Yes. But... What are we going to play next? I think we're going to play... Oh, no, Undead Nightmare. So, actually, yeah. you're right. So, we're not technically done with this game just yet. Right. So, we still have to play Undead Nightmare. Yes. That's what we're going to play next. Um, um, did you guys cry whenever John died? Be honest. <laughs> we won't judge because I cried. Did yep. you cry? No, I didn't. Sorry, I'm cold-hearted. She's, she's a cold-hearted snake. <laughs> um, alrighty. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.